In this video, we're going to explore offline Gmail on your Chrome browser. Now, in this situation, I'm going to actually be using my Chrome OS notebook, the CR48, because I could actually see myself using the offline Gmail with this device. I could picture myself in an area where I don't have Wi-Fi, I don't have internet access, and I want to rattle off a couple of emails and then just send it when I do have internet access. So it doesn't actually come with the Chrome browser itself. You have to install it from the Chrome Web Store. And as a lot of things from Google, right now it's in beta. Now we can also look forward to offline Google Docs and offline Google Calendar. But as of right now, the only one that's available is offline Gmail. So what we're going to do is go to the Web Store here, the Chrome Web Store. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look up in the search up here. I'm going to look up offline Gmail. And here we go. The first selection over here is offline Google Mail. So I'm going to click on that. And what it is, it's an app for your Chrome browser, and you don't have to have a Chrome OS notebook to use it. You could use it on your Mac or PC as long as you're running the Chrome browser on it. Now, the app itself looks a lot like the mobile app that you would find on Android tablets, but we'll get into that in a second. I'm just going to click on the Add to Chrome button here and I'm going to confirm the install and it's installing it and now it's been added to my list down here my list of icons so I'm going to click on it here and I'm greeted with the screen it says allow offline mail would you like to use Google Mail offline to manage and compose email when you're not connected to the internet then you have two options here, allow offline mail, which is obviously the purpose of this app, so of course I want to do that. It says copies of recent mail for my email address here will be synchronized and saved on this computer. If you're using a public or shared computer, don't allow offline mail. And then of course the other option here is don't allow offline mail. You can read and send email only when you're connected to the internet. Offline mail will not be saved on this computer. Of course, like I said, the, the entire purpose of this app is to allow offline mail. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click continue here. Now this is my Tech Harvest email here for my channel. And it looks like uh, somebody wanted to add me to their Google Plus. And I will add them uh, when I'm done with this video here. But what you see here is a little bit different than you're probably used to, a little bit different user interface on this Gmail or this Google app here. Like I said, it's something much more similar that you would find on an Android tablet. So it has a really nice interface here, really nice user interface. And of course, right now I'm logged into my Wi-Fi network at my house here. What I'm going to do in a second here is turn off my Wi-Fi and show you how you can compose an email and then turn the Wi-Fi on and send it. But let's just walk through this really quick here. These are all my email. This is my inbox here. And I can scroll all the way down and you can click this to show more messages down here if you have more. Um, up here you have a menu button in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to click on that and that shows you, it brings you back up a step and it shows you your inbox, your sent mail, your drafts, your personal travel, all your labels, starred, things of that nature and uh, it also includes uh, your chats and of course your your trash mail down here so it takes it a step out more you can search your email up here in the search box up here you can reload your email here so that allows you to when you do have Wi-Fi access you can reload and download all your email you can click this here to compose and we're going to do that in a second you can, of course, archive and delete the emails that you have here. Let's go back to the inbox here for a second. And over here you have a drop-down button, which allows you to reply, move, label, mute, report, spam, print, or mark as unread. And then, of course, you have arrows here where you can go and go between your next email, your previous and your next email on the list here. And down here you can reply or forward to the emails here. 
So pretty basic if you're, you know, if you're familiar with the Android app, like I said, very similar. And uh, even if you're not familiar, you'll be able to easily figure this out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi, and then I'm going to show you how you can still compose an email offline. Okay, I turned off my Wi-Fi up here in the upper right-hand corner, and I get a little message down here in the lower left-hand corner. It says, Offline. Last checked just now. So the app has downloaded the email all to my laptop here, to my Chrome OS notebook. Like I said, in your case, you could be using a, a Mac or a PC, just as long as you're using Chrome with the browser. And now I'm working offline. So I can still access the emails that I have downloaded to the computer, or I can compose a new one. So I'm going to click on here to compose a new email. And this is what you're greeted with. So I'm going to send an email to myself here. And entitle it test. And let's see. Okay. Now I've rattled off a quick email here and I have the option to send it, save it, or discard it. I also can put attachments on here if I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click send and right here it still says offline last checked just now and now it's updated it says outbox one. So now I have one email in my outbox. I'm going to go back to the menu here and now you see outbox here one email. I'll click on it and it shows the test right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and turn on my Wi-Fi and we're going to see how this sends it if it's automatic or if I have to actually press a button for it to send it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be automatic. So I'm going to turn on my Wi-Fi now and we're going to see what happens. Okay, I turned on the Wi-Fi and let's see what we got here. Let's go back to the menu here. Still one piece of mail in my outbox and right here in the lower left hand corner it says checking outbox one so it's probably downloading my new email and hopefully sending this new one that I just typed up if not I'll send it manually okay it was updated down here it said sent and outbox zero so the outbox still says one here but let's see if it's still there nope Outbox Zero, so it sends it automatically. So that's cool. Uh, all you have to do is log back on to your Wi-Fi network, and every email that you have in your Outbox is going to automatically send. That's pretty much the way I thought it was going to be. And then I can look in my sent mail here, and right there it's been sent. And it's probably in my inbox now. Yep, right there. So that's offline Google Mail on your Chrome browser or even Chrome OS notebook if you have one, a Chromebook. Right now it's in beta, but it seems to be working pretty nicely. And like I said, soon they're going to be adding offline Google Docs and offline Google Calendar. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below as always. And I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you're not a subscriber and you like what you see, please subscribe. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.